Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Lit Code. In this video, we are going to learn two concepts. The first one is like how to organize the project structure properly, and the second one we are going to learn how to handle multiple environment. So already I have a video on Playwright to handle multiple environment. So the concept is going to be the same. So I'm, I will try to make it quick as possible. But of course, we'll learn everything in detail. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to um, reorganize few of the code in my hooks file. Okay. So for now, we have like only Chromium dot launch. But in future, of course, we have to run our test against um, Firefox or the WebKit. So instead of right, like creating the object here, I like to create that in a separate file, and I have to use it why because that is how we organize our codes right so within the helper folder i'm going to create a folder called um, browsers and within that i'm going to create a file called browser manager dot ts file okay and i'm going to have a function called um, export const then followed by invoke browser and of course it's a function and then we are going to have our function here so i'm going to write a switch case and based on the browser type so for example let's say that we have a, a const browser type and that's going to be for now chrome and here i can say like if this is going to be this and then if i say like chrome then i want to launch the chromium right so here i can say like chromium dot launch and that's it and within the launch function of course i have like launch option where i can say like um, headless equal to false and few other things also i can do right but instead of writing here probably i will like to create that as an object here so i can say like const options and that's going to be of my launch options and here i can say the same thing like i can go with the headless either it can be like true or false we'll give the false as now we'll change that and if you want to run your test in slow motion you can do that if you want to set the download path all the stuff you can do it from here okay so what is the advantage like i can use the same options for different cases as well for example here i can say like this can be like either firefox as well and here instead of chromium i have to say like firefox dot launch and similarly i can say like webkit so here it's going to be webkit and here it's going to be like webkit and not the url it should be webkit from playwright core okay and here uh, of course we are getting because as of now we have this value but we'll change this so we'll change this to like process dot environment dot uh based on the browser okay but we are not getting any suggestion for browser right because that is not your default chrome uh, node.js thing that this thing we have to create now i'm going to create something called type definitions um the d file the declarations file which will help us to get the suggestions for example uh within the helper i'm going to create a folder called types and within that i'm going to create a file called environment.d.ts okay make sure you are going to give this d uh, that means like we are going to uh, give the documentation or the declaration okay so here i can say like export the default export and then for by i can say like export and i can say like um, global and then for by i'm going to give a namespace for node js and then i'm going to create a in interface called um, environment so this should be declare already we have the export so here we have to give the declare okay and we are going to create an in interface of environment uh, within the node.js okay so here what i'll do i will simply say like i want to create a browser which is going to be of type chrome or it can be like firefox so we got this now if i go here and here if i say like environment dot you can see like we are still not getting anything um and one more mistake is here so here we have to say like node js not the capital node okay 
and then if i go back to my browser manager and here if i say like dot you can see like we are getting all the options but still we have a problem for example if i close this file and then go back and then if i say like dot i'm not getting any options okay so to fix this what we can do is we can use the typescript configuration file so within the root of the project i'm going to create a file called txtsconfig.json and here i can say like compiler option and within that i can say like types root and then here i can give like where is my type definition file so here with if i go to my helper if i go to my type i can just copy the relative path and i can paste over here and of course you have to change the slash similarly you also want to include the node uh, suggestions as well so just copy this and paste over here okay so that's it very cool okay so that's it we are pretty much done now if you go and give like dot you can see like we got this base url browser and everything okay so in our case of course we have to use this browser one better thing of using this is this is like in the browser we know that this is going to be either chrome firefox or the webkit so for example if i try to write another case with some name like some browser then of course it's going to give us error typescript will say like hey you are supposed to use the type of chrome firefox and the webkit but use uh, but you are using something which i'm not aware so that's why typescript will give us compile time error so this is the reason like i prefer typescript over javascript and of course there are many reasons and of course here you have to use the return and default we are going to throw an error message so here i can say like throw new then followed by error and i can say like please set the proper browser some meaningful message will definitely help us to understand the error okay um, that's it we are pretty much done with this now what we are going to do is we are going to use this function in my hooks so if i go to my hooks and instead of this i can say like invoke browser and that's it we are pretty much done so invoke browser will give us the browser from the browser we are going to create a new context from the context we are going to create a new page from the new page we will set the page fixture and we will use it of course i'm not going to use the after step and before step so i'm just going to remove this and here we have some unused so we can just give control dot and delete all unused import okay so now my hooks looks better you may ask me hey you can write the same thing here as well but the difference is like we are segregating our code so that in future if something we have to change that will be very easy that is that is how the project structure is maintained across all the project okay so we got our type definition file we got our browser manager now we are going to learn how to handle the uh, environment okay so for that i'm going to create one more package called environment and within that i'm going to create a file called environment dot ts okay and here we are going to use the dot env concept so i i'm sure like you already aware of what is dot env package in javascript okay so i'm going to say npm i then followed by dot dash env dash t is it dot dash or dot env i just forgot so let me check quickly so i'm going to dot tnv np yeah it's dot env not dot dash so let me change this yeah and apart from this we are going to use one more package as well which is going to be my cross dash env so basically you can run your script in windows machine in unix or linux or mac so the terminal is going to defer to avoid that we are going to use this cross environment i will show you that in a moment don't worry so here first of all what we are going to do is we are going to use the dot env configuration file so i'm just going to copy the uh, import statement very quickly so this one okay and then here we have to write a function called export const and then followed by uh, let's say like get environment so this is just an arrow function i believe you know how to write the function and we are using export so that i can use this in any file and this is just a your function this is similar to your like uh, saying like function get environment and then followed by this one okay both are same technically same just we are using the arrow syntax here okay uh, if you have watched my typescript tutorial of course you know this right okay now here we are going to say like 
dot env dot configure and within the configure first thing i want to override because i don't want to use my global things i like to use my local environment files and here i have to give my path that we are going to specify now so within the environment folder i'm going to create a file called uh, let's name it like dot env dot prod okay so this environment file will contain all my prod details so for example here i can say like uh, my base url so let me go and copy from here and that's going to be my application url that is book cart and then i'm going to specify a browser as well so let's copy the browser and here i'm going to give let's say that we want to run in firefox okay similarly i'm going to create one more environment file for my staging so i can say like dot env dot staging and of course i don't have like another application to show you, store to show you so i'll just have the url as staging dot url and here i'm going to launch my chrome browser i will show you this in console logs okay so that's it we are pretty much done with our environment file as well now we have to specify this so i'm going to copy relative path and paste over here okay so that's it we are pretty much done just change these slash to friend slash okay so as of now we are hard coded the value as prod environment dot prod that means only this file will work but we'll change that in a moment okay so let's go to our hooks so within the invoke browser we have this browser that is fine now where we are launching our url right so we are launching in the login dot steps so here you can select this is where we are launching so here what can i do is i can simply change this to like process dot environment dot base url okay that's it we are pretty much done okay now let's go to our package dot json file so we have the pre-test we have the test and we have the post test okay it should work fine now because we have hard coded the value as prod okay so let me run and show you so npm then for by test okay and we got some error no, no worries we'll fix that let's go and check first of all what we have and it says like a before all hook error and it says like please set the proper browser that means um our process is our environment is not set so if you go to my hooks of course i missed it so here we have this function right but we are not using this function anywhere so of course i have to call that so within the hooks here i will say like get environment and that's it now if i go back to my terminal and if i run this so now we can see like of course it's working and it's launching in the firefox because in the prod um, environment file we have specified the firefox browser right so that's why it's launching in the firefox browser okay it's completed and of course we got all our test pass okay and once the test is completed we can see our report is also generated okay that's fine now let's go to our get environment now here instead of like prod i'm going to make this like this particular file uh, the staging so i'm just going to copy the file and paste over here now if i go of course my test will fail because the url doesn't exist but we can see like it's going to launch the chrome browser because that is what i have specified within this particular file correct so let's see so here you can see like we got the chromium and it got closed very quickly because of course the url is wrong but you can see like we got the uh, chromium browser okay so that's it we are pretty much done now what we have to do is we have to configure our um, test i mean package.script here okay so first of all we have to go to our environment file and here i'm going to say whether it's going to be your um, um, staging or prod okay so i'm going to use the string interpolation concept here and i'm going to say like process dot environment dot env okay so what is env env basically have the staging prod or test right so now here we have done this changes now if i go and run if you see it will not work because now my path will not know which file i have to set i, I have to choose so that we have to set it from the package.json file i hope you are able to understand it's a very simple concept actually 
just string interpolation is there so as of now i don't have anything environment so if you go here it will give us error message like uh, please set the browser properly okay so we are going to set that so here if i go to my package.json and here i will say cross dash env and then i will say like env equal to let's say i'm going to run in my prod that's it we are pretty much done okay okay now if i go to my terminal and say npm test of course this will execute my init dot ds file first and then it will run my test with the firefox browser so here you can see like firefox got launched with parallel to instance okay and everything got passed okay and then it's also running my post test that is to generate the report and of course we got the report as well now if you want to change this to staging of course it will work fine uh, there's no issue so when i say staging what really happens here is it will go to the environment.es and here it will take the path like src environment.env dot it will become like staging so this env is what we are setting here so based on that it's going to work and within the staging uh, um, within the staging of course we have like chrome browser and this url this url of course it's not going to work but just to show you it will launch now uh, the chromium browser okay so watch carefully here it will just fail very quickly i guess because the url is not reachable it says like please set the browser a uh, proper browser okay something is wrong let's go to our package.json and the spelling is wrong actually okay my bad so here i have to select staging and then if i go and run this now let's see so here you can see like we got this chromium browser of course it's going to fail that is expected but yeah you got the idea right so that's it very simple so after the failure of course we got a report as well okay so this is how we have to set the um environment variables and this is how we have to use the dot env so that's it for this video i hope you have learned how to do this so let me give you a quick recap i believe that will help you so from the hooks file we just created a file called um, a browser manager where we have like our invoke option and we have our launch option and then we have our environment file where we are using this dot n configuration file with two prod and staging different environment files okay and then we have our types this is just to get the code suggestions nothing much nothing much and then we have our init where we are creating our test result folder and we have this report which we learned yesterday and we have this get environment where we are calling like we are calling to set the environment okay so that's it really easy this one if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments and if you still think that you are not getting the appropriate output please rewatch the video once again and then try definitely will get it and one more thing like last time a lot of people have the issue so if you go to your terminal i am using git bash git bash will definitely support all the commands but if you are using like powershell or window terminal few of the things might get changed but since we have cross nvm i guess it should work okay so for example if i say like npm test let me check myself i guess it will work for sure yeah it's working and so of course it will work in your uh, powershell or command prompt or git bash i prefer to use the git bash but if you don't have git bash probably you can go and use anything so here if you click on this you can see like different options and you can use it okay but since we are using this cross environment it will work in any operating system with any of the terminal okay so that's it for this video if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments i will see you in the next one with page object model Tada, bye bye take care